guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I just put on a little set. I'm gonna go on a morning walk to start the day. I'm wearing the cutest set from Set Active in this gorgeous green color. I believe the color is called Mojito and it's so cute. It's one of the newer sets that I got and I believe it's still in stock on their site so I'll link it for you. So cute. So I'm gonna grab my bag, I'll bring my camera, and my phone, my keys, and sunglasses. I already had coffee today, so I think I'm gonna go on a different route for my walk than usual. So just wanted to start the vlog and show you this set because I'm literally obsessed. Love this color, love the fit. I sized up in the bra to a small, but the biker shorts I'm wearing a extra small. I'm also wearing these um nike shoes i forget what they're called but i'll link them down below as well so let's go on a walk and then i'll come back and probably make a smoothie for breakfast back from the walk and I'm gonna make a smoothie it's gonna be a lighter smoothie but I'm still gonna use protein powder because I know I'm gonna want like an actual breakfast so I'm just doing something really light I'm not gonna add too many things so I just have mango I froze this spinach because it was going bad so it's frozen spinach and then this berry medley and then the one-up nutrition vegan vanilla protein but you saw a few clips ago that I was using a specific shampoo and conditioner and it is new. And I know I just talked about how I don't believe in spending a lot of money on shampoo and conditioner, but boy, when you use like Luxe shampoo and conditioner, it makes such a difference, it's crazy. So I actually got sent this shampoo and conditioner from a brand that I have worked with in the past called skinstore.com. I worked with them with the slip pillowcases that I've literally used for years and still use to this day. But I got sent this enhancing shampoo and retaining conditioner by the brand Rain Cry. And I've looked this brand up and they have incredible reviews on a lot of their shampoo and conditioners. They have like leave-in products. I believe they have hair brushes and a bunch of stuff. Let me pull it up. Yeah, they have hair brushes, leave-ins. They have a volume collection, a shine collection, a smooth collection, a CBD repair collection. And then this is their new collection, which is their color collection. And I am not naturally this blonde. I have like a dirty blonde color. You can kind of see it at my roots. But this is good for intensifying and preserving your color. So it's mainly for color treated hair. And this shampoo has enriching ceramides, geranium oil, and birch extract. And then the conditioner has hyaluronic acid, sunflower oil, and burdock. I think that's how you say it. But it's 
new. I'm actually going to tune into a Zoom call with the brand on Thursday and get to hear about their new collection, a story about them, and get to ask them questions. So I'm really excited about that because I really would love to know more about the brand itself and like their new collection and the products and everything like that, all while getting to try them for myself. I mean, I feel like the shampoo and conditioner would definitely work best right after you get your hair color with the first wash because my hair is about three or four weeks old. So I'm sure it works best right on fresh hair at like enhancing and preserving it. Um, I do use purple shampoo to kind of like help tone my hair in between color. But if I use this, I feel like I wouldn't necessarily need to because if it does help enhance and retain and like preserve color, then I wouldn't need to use a purple shampoo, which can be super drying to my hair. But I like the bright blonde, so it's hard to choose between drying my hair out or like getting that bright blonde. So maybe with this, I wouldn't have to choose. And I could have bright blonde hair in between color all the time. So I do have a coupon code, actually. Um, I don't remember what it is, but I did email the girl that I've been communicating with back and forth, and um, I'll put it on the screen when I edit this video, and I'll also link it down below just in case you do want to try out this shampoo and conditioner for yourself if you're blonde and if you're or if you color treat your hair and if you don't no need to worry because they have tons of other shampoo and conditioner options to choose from so i will link the products down below along with my coupon code but i just wanted to share because i did get sent them and um just use it for the first time so i'm excited to continue using them so linked below Okay, so I showed last weekend that I got a new camera and I actually returned that camera and um, purchased the Canon G7X. I wanted to really like the camera, but I just was looking back at the footage and it didn't perform the same way that the Canon G7X does. I feel like this camera is just really good for vlogging it adjusts well i understand the settings i understand camera settings and if i didn't like i could just easily google it like it's not super complex to me anymore because i am not new to camera settings in any way but i just didn't love the camera and i wanted to so badly to love it but i really didn't feel like it was much of a step up from the quality on this camera and cameras are so expensive and i literally felt like guilty like i had one of those like guilty purchased feelings if that makes sense like you know when you purchase something and it just doesn't feel right i just had this like weird pit and i was like this isn't like the right camera like i'm not gonna like it i'm not gonna love it it was definitely bigger and bulkier there was just like a lot of things i didn't like the way that the lighting looked on it it looked really orange i just and i know how to fix that and it still just I don't know and when I would move around like the auto settings on it wouldn't really adjust well when it changed like lighting I don't know there, it's just like a whole thing but I just went and bought the Canon G7X the next day so on Monday and I just you know there's no point to have something that you're not super in love with especially when you're spending that much money on it so at first i was just gonna get my old camera repaired but it would take six weeks to six weeks minimum to get it fixed and i just don't want to be without a vlog camera for six weeks so i knew i had to just go and buy it buy a new one because eventually that camera would probably get really bad and who knows what would happen so i went back to the canon g7x it's just the best thing for me also i just got slippers for the first time i know super monumental i actually haven't had slippers since i was young and i had the ugg slippers and i just like i never wore slippers and i have been missing out i got these off of amazon they're super fluffy i literally am obsessed with them i am wearing them around constantly I feel like I should get them in another color, but um, I just got them in the white. They're so soft and comfortable. I can link them. I think they're around like 20 bucks. 
I'm also really scared that my self tanner is gonna rub off on these and I don't know how well they're gonna wash, but I'm like a slipper girl now. It's a lot later. Today's been just a day at home besides the morning when I went on that walk, but it's been rainy and just cozy. I deep cleaned the whole entire apartment last night, so it's like clean. I just did a load of dishes. I am doing laundry. Like I'm just in like a clean space. Candles are lit. Like I just feel like the vibes are great. And I'm doing some laundry. I'm putting away some laundry and then I'm gonna cook some dinner but <laughs> I want to sh share this because I don't know how I got so lucky but I was randomly just on the skims website I keep it open like in a tab on my computer on the fits everybody top and I refresh it every single day at like 11 or 10 a.m. like around those times because they will randomly restock a color that I, and I'm not gonna sign up for notifications for every single shirt color, even though I could. And I was just randomly on the site and I saw that they had the um, Fits Everybody crop in this green color in stock and I quickly grabbed it and it just came in. You guys, it feels like you're not wearing anything. I like tried it on. It is the most comfortable top I've ever worn. I got a size small. I maybe could have done an extra small, but I was worried about the arms or the, yeah, the sleeves being a little bit restricting. And I don't like something super tight right here and the sleeves are short and I just didn't want to like digging in, you know, you know what I mean? So I feel like the small is pretty good. Plus this is like elasticy, and I didn't want this to dig into my sides. So I have a small, so comfortable love the green color i'm waiting for like the black to restock i want the brown to restock just any color i love these and i can't wait to get my hands on the long sleeve version of these that are full length for work oh my gosh it's gonna be incredible so i wanted to share i'm gonna put away my laundry then i'm gonna start some dinner maybe have a glass of wine because i opened some rosé last weekend with christian by the way christian's on a guy's trip this weekend so he's not home so it's just me, so I'm gonna be doing like an easy dinner that's like super easy. I'm gonna try this wine that I opened last weekend and see if it's still good. Okay, so I need to do a little story time. Let me preheat the oven. This is what I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna put this over a salad. They're really good. This flavor is really good. It's the California veggie burger with carrot, zucchini, peas, and spinach. And it tastes really good. I thought it was gonna taste like not that good, but it's really good. Easy dinner. I'm gonna put it over a salad with like some Brussels sprouts, some like onion, peppers, and do that for dinner with a glass of wine if this is still good because I'm not gonna open a whole bottle, but if this is good then I'll have some of this um, summer water. Okay, so I need to do a story time because it's just, it gives me like anxiety for some reason. The woman below us, she's like young. She's like my age, just a disclaimer. She's my age, she's not like old or anything. I feel like the place that we live is kind of like a young environment. There are some older people, but it's mostly young. You get what I'm saying? Like girls from my office live here actually. So we've been here for a year now and she's come up to knock on our door. I kid you not, probably six or seven times within the past year. I mean, in the beginning, like there wasn't any issues. I don't know if she just moved in like a few months ago or what, but I mean, you guys see my vlogs. I don't have parties here. I don't have a lot of people over all the time. Like I literally just live my life and I feel like I'm not like stomping around. I'm very considerate of the people below me because the woman above me, she wears heels every single morning in her apartment at 7 a.m. 
and I've never once gone up there and complained to her because like we live in an apartment and it just comes with the territory and I'm not like a complainer. It doesn't, like it's fine. She probably doesn't realize how thin like the floor to ceiling ratio is here because she lives on the top floor so she doesn't have anyone above her. So she doesn't know. But this woman below us, she came up last night and knocked on the door and told me that I was being too loud and that the ceiling literally shakes. I can only count one time where yes we were being like maybe like a little bit loud on the floors but like i think she's being way too nitpicky and sensitive because i literally feel like a prisoner in my own apartment i feel like i have to tiptoe around her last night yesterday i was cleaning the apartment like it was literally just me at home and i had like the roomba going and my laptop uh, cord was like hanging off the bed my laptop was on the bed and the Roomba like got a hold of the cord and it pulled my laptop off and it like hit the floor and it made a loud banging sound and she, so she came up and knocked on the door and I was like with all due respect like we don't have throw parties so I'm like not inconsiderate and she goes my ceiling literally shakes I feel like I'm I don't walk heavy like at all we don't have like large groups over Christian and I aren't home most days like we work out of the house and she works from home I didn't want to get like super defensive with her but I said like I'm so sorry but it was just like my laptop falling off the bed and she goes it's literally all the time like it's all day every day like you're just like my ceiling shakes and it, I just like don't understand like maybe she's being I don't know I get it my laptop hitting the ground like made a really loud noise but it was like on carpet so like I don't know what to do like I would totally get it if we had people over every single weekend and um we were like just stomping and there was like always a bunch of people in here but it's literally just me and christian i feel really bad for her but i don't think she understands how thin the ceiling to floor ratio is so but i literally opened the door with like windex in my hand and i was like hi and she goes hi i just want to let you know that you're being really loud and i was like i'm sorry my laptop just like hit the floor of the room but like i'm just cleaning she goes it's all the time and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Like, I feel, I don't know. I feel like I'm really considerate of the people below me. Like, I don't do jumping jacks in here and I don't work out in here. Like, I don't do crazy things. Like, maybe the vacuum's loud. Like, I can hear the woman above us vacuuming. But I don't know. It's just like, I would never go upstairs and knock on the woman's door above me and be like hey can you keep it down maybe if i like every single day consistently for like a month straight like she was like running around back and forth like all the time maybe then but like i don't know i just wanted to share like i don't know what to do because i don't want to feel like i literally have to like but that's what i've been doing all day i've just been like tiptoeing around because i feel bad i wanted to share that with you guys because i thought it was like a little bit ridiculous i know that my laptop hitting the floor was loud but i don't know what to do because i feel like i'm super considerate but i don't know anyways that's my life that's my little story time i just wanted to share with you guys because she has come up multiple times and i've never shared but i don't know what to do I don't know what to do i mean i don't think there's anything i really can do i can just try and be as considerate as possible like i have been but I just like don't want any issues, you know? Okay, the little veggie patty is in the oven. It has five minutes more to go and then I flip it for 10 more minutes on the other side. Just did romaine lettuce with some tomato and then I'm gonna heat this up in a pan. So I just have some red pepper. I wish I had some white onion, but I only had red onion and then Brussels sprouts. And I think I'm gonna do this seasoning on it it's so good i did it on brussels sprouts last night and oh my gosh it's so good we got it from costco last weekend and this is gonna be my favorite okay it doesn't look the best but this is dinner. I'm going to put this apple cider vinegar dressing on it. This isn't the usual one that I buy. I usually buy the oil-free one, which I prefer over this one. This is the easiest dinner 
ever. And it's what I love. this morning I would show you my morning skincare routine I haven't done this in honestly a really long time so I just wanted to share the skincare that I've been using and loving it's honestly probably about to change because I did order the road skincare I think that's how you say it from Hailey Bieber I could have honestly ordered the set if I wanted to but I wanted to try like the gel serum, so I got that and then the watermelon lip balm. So I only got two products and thank goodness I ordered it when I did because it sold out. So I'm going to be trying that and letting you know. I'll probably do a first impression of it on my YouTube when I do get it in the mail. So I'm really excited about it. So I thought I would walk you through my morning skincare at night. It does obviously change and switch up each night. I kind of use different products and rotate like every other day for different products. But for the morning, it is mostly the same. I use this face wash. It's the purifying foaming cleanser. So it looks like this. I started using this, my skin went with Florida. It um, changes from more oily during the summer and then more dry during the winter, which I feel like is kind of normal. So I changed to a oily skin from normal to oily skin cleanser. Haven't noticed it over drying or anything to my skin. Um, I use this every single night and then I use it in the mornings for the days that I work out. So I don't use it on the mornings that I don't work out. I just rinse my face. So this morning I'm going to just rinse my face off and um, not use this, but I did want to share. I just started using this probably like three weeks ago. And um, yeah, I've been liking it. But I also double cleanse. I talked about it a million times, the oat cleansing balm. I'll put a picture of it right here. It's like $10 from Sephora. It's the best cleansing balm, so I'll use that. And then I'll go in with this after. But I'm going to rinse my face really quick. And then I'm going to walk you through what I do for skincare. <laughs> okay, I just had to fix my camera. But so the first thing I do after rinsing my face is I do a vitamin C serum. This one is by Juice Beauty. I just got this probably like three or four weeks ago. I had no intention of buying it, but I went into Ulta to get self tanner and I started browsing. And then one thing led to another. I have a vitamin C serum now. Um, I have been wanting to try the Skin Suticals one and <sighs> This is about half the price of that vitamin C serum. And the girls at Ulta said that this is a dupe to the SkinCeuticals vitamin C serum, which they had no idea that I was looking for the SkinCeuticals or like wanting to purchase it. They just like flat out said like this is a dupe for it. And what they also said about this one is that this is probably one of the best vitamin C serums because the first ingredient isn't water like most vitamin C serums are. And I think the first ingredient is, I kept the box. The first ingredient is aloe and then absorbic acid, so vitamin C. So I've been really liking it. I haven't been using it for that long, but I do have like a dark patch right here that I'm trying to fade and I have been trying to fade for a while. So I've been using this and loving it. Haven't had like a bad reaction to it. That's a vitamin C serum that I've been using. I'll link it. After that dries, I go in with the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. I saw on TikTok that it makes your skin look like glass over time. And obviously that's what I want. So, pat it in. Okay, and then after that, I go in with the Ordinary Caffeine Solution for underneath my eyes. I just take like a little bit on my finger. Oh, please ignore that red mark. I literally just got really close to my neck when I just touched up and straightened my hair. But after the caffeine solution, I go in with my other eye cream, which is the Modare Cell Proof Eye Cream. And I always put on eye cream before moisturizer. And then for moisturizer, I'm using the CeraVe Daily Moisture Rising Lotion. Next, I am going to tame my eyebrows. I have very sparse brows. 
and I've been doing this glue that holds them in place. It's like a spiking glue by Got To Be. Been using this for a few months and I literally can't do my brows any other way. I don't know what it is. So I just put it on a spoolie on the back of my hand and I brush my brows up. And this is like giving my moisturizer a second to seep in to my skin. And then um, I'm gonna put on some sunscreen. So this is the sunscreen that I use. It's the Elta MD Broad Spectrum SPF 46. And I just ordered another container of this. It lasts a really long time. I use it every day. And I put it on my face and neck. And that is the skincare. I will link all the products down below. I'm so excited for road that product to come in the mail. I'll obviously show it when it does come in, but um, that's my current skincare routine. The road product will take out the niacinamide. Um, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and I'm gonna cook some breakfast. It is Father's Day, so I'm going over to my dad's house today. And I think we're gonna be like out in the sun, so I'll probably wear a bathing suit, um, stuff like that, and then come back here like later today. But I'm thinking I wanna go to the grocery store before I go to my dad's because I'm probably not gonna to wanna to do that when I get like done being there. So I'll probably do that and then come back and then head to my dad's house. I didn't share this last night, but late last night I got a knock on my door and it was a big box from 1UP Nutrition. And if you don't already know, I work with them consistently. I use their products literally every single day. Literally love them. And they just recently came out with protein and collagen muffins and they're individually packaged muffins. I tried the chocolate one last night and it was really good. But there's one thing that I do wanna say is that don't expect them to be like super moist muffins that are like freshly baked. They're really good and satisfying and they have a good protein amount and collagen amount, but I only tried the chocolate. I know Christian is gonna love the banana nut. He loves anything banana, like he gets banana ice cream, he loves banana pudding, he loves the banana bread that I make, so I know these are gonna be eaten by him. Can't wait to try this flavor and this flavor. So I believe these are all the flavors that are being released. And I feel like this is the perfect snack to have in between like lunch and dinner, maybe um, like as a sweet treat after dinner. And I love how they're individually packaged too. So you can just grab and go. So I did wanna share that. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I think I'm honestly gonna have the same thing as yesterday. I just love the hash brown avocado and egg. So I'm probably gonna have that. I don't know what it is about pineapple and me these days, but I bought another one. I don't know what it is. It's like my favorite fruit right now. So I buy one every week and I can't wait to cut it up when I get home. So I just unpacked all the groceries and I'm gonna head to my dad's house opening a watermelon poppy. So good. I'm gonna grab a hat and head to my dad's. Okay, I just filmed this for TikTok, but I thought I would do it on here. I'm gonna do like what's in my beach bag. By the way, this is from Zara. And then this hat, it's like a little bucket hat. Here, I'll put it on. I think it's so cute. It is actually from Target. But I just have this clip clipped to the outside so it doesn't get crushed inside the bag. I got it off Amazon in a big pack for like under 20 bucks, so I'll link that. So I have my phone. Orange is my color right now. I have my car keys with my wallet. I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses, this pair. I have some mini Sol de Janeiro hand lotion or body lotion. I use it for my hands since it's small. I love this stuff. It's a tanning oil and it has some SPF in it, but I wear SPF underneath it. It's so good. 
And then this is the sunscreen that I love. Super Goop SPF 30. This is so good. I also love the face sunscreen. Okay, lastly, I have two lip balms. I have the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Gummy Bear and then the Summer Fridays one. And then I have this mini Tom Ford perfume just to like freshen up. So that's in my beach bag. I'm gonna rush over to my dad's and get out in the sun with the family.